Welcome to Cold Scepter Vault, a world where board games and card games meet to test your skill, ingenuity, and luck. Your goal in Cold Scepter Vault is simple. You win by becoming the first player to amass enough magic to claim victory at a gate on the map. Magic is gained by owning land, so you'll need to travel the board, claim whatever land you land on, and collect tolls from your opponents in order to earn victory. You are the winner of this war. You'll use a customized book of cards as you traverse the board to defeat your opponents. Your book will be built from three types of cards. Creature cards, item cards, and spell cards. Creature cards can be summoned to claim open land and to battle your enemy's creatures. As a new addition for the series' 20th anniversary, Cold Sept Revolt also features a new type of creature card called Evo cards that you can evolve and modify to fit perfectly within your strategy. Item cards can be used in battle to strengthen your creatures by adding stat boosts or other modifiers. Spell cards can be used throughout a match to alter an opponent's role, change the tide of a battle, and much more. All told, you can collect more than 400 unique cards using currency you'll acquire by playing Cold Scepter Volt's solo and multiplayer modes. In quest mode, you'll play solo through over 150 stages where you'll discover the story of Alan and the Freebats. In online and local versus mode, you'll test your skill and book of cards against friends and strangers to become the best scepter. And of course, you can always test your new strategies against the computer in a solo match. I hope you're ready because a world of strategy awaits in Cold Scepter Revolt when it launches for Nintendo 3DS this fall.